Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome in. Welcome to this wonderful episode where we are going to start really ramping it up. Like really ramping it up. We are gonna go, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's up there somewhere, it's up there. Yeah, it's hidden behind the mob farm. We're gonna go into the nether. We are going into the nether today to build ourselves a zombified pigman farm. Um, the challenges we've got for that one is uh, we need to get down to the bottom of the world in the nether, but you can't use water in the nether. Um, so we've got to find new ingenious ways of getting down there. Now, Yahulki has a way down and I am going to show you, Trevor, get your head out of the way, Trevor, Trevor. Um, I will show you how to get down to the bottom of the world and get your block at the lowest point you can in the world to give you 0 0.5, which is your half block on the very, very bottom of the world. Um, and then we'll build a a very basic, very crude um, zombified pigman farm. Uh, we'll ghast proof it as well, just to make sure. Um, and then we can start getting gold. And then we can get Trevor here. Where is he? Hello, Trevor. We'll get him, um, a friend, and start making lots of villages. Because we need an iron farm, we need to get books, we need we need villages. So we need to get a zombified pigment farm in place. So, without a further ado, let us get into it and get over to the nether. Alright, so we're in the nether, we're over at the Crimson Forest. As you can see, all the, the lovely particles floating around. And our little... A little stem here to grow us another one of these. Oh, we got a lovely lamp up there. Um, but what I'm most interested in is these. Uh, I can never remember what they call them. What are they called? Um, weeping vine plant. We are interested in this. We need lots of this. Um, we are going to build down over here. And we are going to use the weeping vine to get us down to the bottom of the world. Now, the map maker has uh, put string here to stop these from being able to grow all the way down. It, it, it stops them where they are. Now, I have brought some materials with me to do the job that we need. Um, and I'm just going to use some of those now because I don't really want to lose too many to the void. Uh, we are going to lose all of that. That's fine. And then if we build out like so, we can uh, we can utilize this little bit of space. Right, so I have brought, oh, I've got one there, look, look at that, that's nice. I brought the shears. Shears are the best way to um, harvest these plants. Uh, same with the, um, the warped forest, the, the twisting vine that goes upwards. Uh, same principle, uh, just use um, some shears and you will end up with more. A bit like normal vines, really. Same principle. Uh, so there, that, that's what we needed from over here. So now basically we head back over to our portal. And through the magic of video editing, we are back at the portal. Um, there's our crimson. We need to go down somewhere here. Um, because I want to try and not build underneath this this pathway here. Um, so what we are going to do is... Uh, I should have brought more full blocks, really. We'll just use some slabs. Uh, is... Uh, one more. There we go. Eh, one more. There we go. For good luck. Like that. Um, we'll make this platform just a little wider so we don't fall off of it because that won't be cricket and then we pop one there and one there um, and the reason why we're going to have two is because I'm going to go down on one and I'm going to use the other one to place my block against that is the plan right so now we just spam it with a little bit of bone meal you see and off it goes Beautiful. Now I think I think that is at the bottom of the world, so we'll just spam this one a little bit. Alright. 
And there we go. That's our transport down to the bottom of the world. Look at that. I need to use a stack. I didn't need to use a stack. I was, I was making sure. That's what I was doing. I was making sure that we got to the bottom of the world. Right. So let's chuck some... Oh, we still got all of this in here from previous. Look at that. Um, we'll stick a lot of our unnecessary stuff that we don't want to lose. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'm going to take half of... Yeah, not even that. I'm going to take that. Um, and this is all we are going to use, including the torches that are in my offhand, just in case we need to. We're going to use those to uh, go down and make ourselves a little, little bit of a platform. A little bit of a platform. Now, if I think about it, I should have built this so it come out this way and then gone down. But I didn't think about it. I built it this way. So we're going to make good. Okay. Let's do this. So, unlike water, if you go just outside of the hitbox of this vine, you will free fall. And it is a very fine line, believe me. I've done it in my testing world a few times, and it is a very fine line. So we're getting to the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to turn my coordinates on so I can see where we are. Uh, right. There we go. So we're on two and a half. So now if we go here... That puts us on the four block. This is where our torches come in handy because we don't want zombified pigmen. Uh, there is our one and a half blocks. There we go. So, let's move around this way. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to take those blocks away because it just eliminates any possibility that we get spawns where we don't want them um and if i'm being honest at this stage i'm starting to get used to not having lots of mobs in places i don't want them. okay right now we have our blocks down onto one and a half let us build out just a little bit because we are not done yet oh no 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 we are not done. So what we need to do is if we uh, go out one with this and then uh, how can we let's, let's, let's build out another one here. Uh, let's chuck that block like that. Okay. And we remove this one here and I'm going to remove this one just to make life a, just a tad simpler for me. Um, I am going to put a trapdoor down here. And a trapdoor here. Keep an eye on the uh, the Y level there. We're on 1.5. I am going to uh, stick that one there, and then I'm going to put that trapdoor there. Okay. So this is this is your setup. Remember, this is level 1.5. That will then make it block two. Okay. So when you put full block there, that's block two. That's block two and a half right there. Um. So what we need to do now is walk in and then if we hit this one it puts us into a fly mode now if we uh, obviously we don't have to because we're in fly mode but press crouch so we don't activate this door and then press click boom there's that one and that is a lot lower than what we could place just a second ago now if i place a half slab down here now look at my y level i am on 0.5 0.5 that is a beautiful site um so yeah now all i've got to do is just build out a little walkway here just to to make it sort of 0.5 and enough out that i can deactivate the uh the farm just to refresh any spawns and stop any aggro so i'm gonna do that quickly and i'll be back okay so we have our little platform on y 0.5 up there in the y coordinate um, and we are now ready to start building our farm. Now I've gone through in my testing world and I have gone through several different um, iterations of this farm. Um, and I've built some up there that they fall to their death, which actually was very, very productive. Um, to the diamond shaped ones, um, now the diamond shaped one here 
will be what we're building today but the the drop one as much as it was really good it was giving me loads of gold they just kept stop spawning like they, they i would fire my thing at them they'd all fall down at me and then they'd stop and then i'd have to run away come back wait then they'd spawn then i'd have to shoot them again it was just it seemed very 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 odd so um we're going to just stick with the the good old fashioned uh sort of diamond looking um platform that we, we we all know and love in skyblock uh just to, to make it easy and this is a, a beginning farm this is not gonna be its end state we will make this like super automated and everything is just super duper on it but for now we just need to grab some gold that is our end goal we need gold so I've started the replay mod and we are going to drop into a little time lapse while we now put this little little farm, little productive farm together and uh, hopefully get some gold out of the end of it. So hope you enjoy the music and I'll see you when we get back. So as you see in that little time lapse there, we've uh, we've built a little 13 by 13 diamond out there, um, and I I've kind of put this very kind of crude killing chamber here. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. This is just a first iteration. Um, but if we run away, I didn't bring my bow and arrow with me. I think they're up in the. Oh wow! Look at all them spawns. There they are. Look at them all. That is beautiful. Right, let's uh, let's go and grab my bow and arrow quickly. Look at them all spawning. That's what we're after. That's what we want. Right, let's climb up these vines very slowly, very very slowly. Um, because I left my bow and arrow up in this chest. Uh, that is how we're gonna aggro the. Look at them all. Look, There's hundreds of them. Right, let's, uh, yeah, there it is there, look. Um, however, however, I do not see any, any arrows, any arrows. Right, give me a moment. Okay, we have our bow and we have some arrows now. Let us go play with our new, our new toy. Let's just drop a, oh, that was cool. Drop a, one of them, and then uh, so we can put this up just to give us ourselves a little bit more protection. And we just gotta sit here and just kill, basically. Um, I need to put my crafting table down for yeah. There it goes. Right. Let's uh, let's put a crafting table down here. And make a new sword. Um, no, where is it? This one. Oh, look, we've got one nugget already. Beautiful. Uh, right, so we want one of them. One of them, please. All right, here we go. So this is going to be me for a little while. While we uh, get ourselves a little bit of gold. And if they... Oh, oh they do hit hard, though. And this is the other thing 
is these guys here. Eventually, I'm going to lure out. And we're going to make a, a piglin farm just here somewhere. Which will give us all of the beautiful, lovely drops. All right. I think, I think that is then cleared out. All right. Oh, he's got a crossbow back there. Let's uh, let's let him play with his crossbow. Right. So we got eleven nuggets and a couple of swords, which is not the best. It's not amazing, but it's a start. Um, and the start is what we were looking for. Uh, what, what am I doing? Let's put these chests down here. Um, like so. We'll chuck the swords up here. Chuck the nuggets in there. And uh, rotten flesh. I'm not overly bothered about because we have. A pretty decent, a pretty decent uh, farm back in the overworld with what we need. Now I'm tempted to put a door here. Uh, you know what? Let's let's just let's just see. Uh, we want two of them. Hello, please. And then let's make a door because then that might make it a, just a little bit easier. For me to get in now the dip the only thing is is will they be able to get out let's let's put our theory to the test yes he opens the door okay so we can't do that okay that's a shame excuse me uh, excuse me Please. Right. Okay, so we'll have to find a new ingenious way of being able to get our drops. But I think guys, that's a, a pretty decent farm. We've managed to get ourselves to the bottom of the world with our with our vines. Which in its own right is a little bit of a an interesting task. Let's not get too close because they hurt. Um and we have made ourselves a very crude zombified pigman farm which is incredibly sort of basic in what it's doing but it is doing it is giving us what we want and what we need right now is gold and this is giving us ah see now this is the other problem is this guy will pick up all of our gold so what we might need to do is somehow stop them from picking up our gold because otherwise we're going to end up with a lacking a very big lacking of gold um because they're just going to keep picking them up um that wasn't bad though we've got two oh look at that we've got 17 on that one and these swords, they're going to go into a furnace. I'm going to bring down a furnace and we'll stick a furnace here somewhere. Uh, and we'll smelt them and get our nuggets as well. So I am going to grind at this this farm. Um, and then I will basically get enough to get another, zomb uh, another zombie villager out. Which will be kind of easy, I think. The other one just happened really quick. Um get that dude out get him healed and then we're, we're cooking with gas as soon as we've got two villagers up there we are cooking with gas but i need to i need to perfect this just a little bit i need to make it a little bit more a little bit more user friendly i think and we need to get some of these piglins out um which i envision a lot of my deaths uh, i've got six at the moment um a lot of deaths coming for when we get them out but we need to build out a little a hall here um for them to to live in maybe maybe i'll do that off camera maybe i will uh do it on camera we'll see but i think as it goes this is a pretty decent little farm and i'm very happy with it so i think guys we shall leave it there with all of these guys just huddled up there waiting for me to go slap them with a sword 
and uh, I'll catch you all in the next episode where we will hopefully have more villagers and lots of gold. We shall see. Have a great one, guys. See you again soon. Uh, bye 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 now.